Hello and welcome to Skill Monkeys, the only podcast that knows that Neville Longbottom was the chosen one. I'm Nate. And I'm Nelson. We are the Skill Monkeys. Yes, we are the Skill Monkeys. We do stuff. We do stuff and things. So what's up, man? Uh, what you been playing this week? Uh, I play a little bit of Resolver, because uh, that's, uh, that's free this month. And I've been playing uh, playing that a little bit. It's like a, like a martial arts version of Dark Souls. That's pretty cool. It's actually really cool. You gotta change stances, and you gotta... It's all this other shit that you gotta do. I think it's, uh... I think it's, like... You, you can play online with other people, too. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, so you can go around fighting people in masks. Alright. Yeah, but it's, uh... It's pretty fun. I haven't played that much else. Um, how about you? What have you been up to? Um... I, another week where I didn't really play a whole lot. I... Did try out that hockey game I was I'm talking about, the little 8-bit one. Yeah, how is it? Uh, instantly, when, it, when you turn it on, the menu is inside of a CRT TV, which was cool. And then the soundtrack is just pure 8-bit heaven. Is it? Yeah. I, like, I, I was just jamming the whole time. Yeah? I'm terrible at the game. But I don't know if maybe my eyes were fucking up, but one cool thing is like when you get into a fight, since it's 8-bit, when you knock somebody down, they, like, they kind of look like a shattered sprite from the game. So, yeah. so it looks like you're beating them away, which was kind of cool. Oh? Yeah, I dug it. I enjoyed it. Uh, so you said you you, you dug the soundtrack? What yeah. about the soundtrack did you enjoy? Like, it was it, it other songs that you've heard? No. It's just that nostalgia. Nostalgia? Just kicked right in. Just upbeat, old school video game music. Yeah. Mm. Well, there's a... What would you say <coughs> is your number one soundtrack from a game like a game that you hear and you're like oh man fucking yeah let's do it um i don't know about a whole soundtrack there's a couple just songs like, like okay like a, a song from a soundtrack of the a game. the song that plays during the final fight of metal gear solid 4 that's a pretty solid one yeah, that one's not as memorable. I mean, that's not or as like Snake Eater. Oh yeah, man. yeah. When he's climbing that that giant ladder. Yeah. The that ladder. Fucking never ending ladder. Never ending ladder. The dude from Dark Souls Two would have a hard on for that ladder, man. Remember that guy? What do I do? I build ladders. Uh, yeah, he was in. Uh, he was in the third one too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he died. He straight up did. Yeah, he had tons of ladders. Um. He got a lot of hardwood. Um, what would be your favorite? The Doom soundtrack, man. I always forget about the Doom soundtrack. Doom soundtrack. Doom 2016, we should clarify. Yes. I uh, mean, if you take it back, the old one is still okay. But the new one, just that loud, nasty bass. The and the fucking electronica mixed into it. I, I'm going to change my answer. What? Dave Mira's BMX on the PlayStation 1. Oh, if we're going to go that, that way. That was my introduction to Sublime and I other... I would have to say then, if we're gonna go like old school, it had to be like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Two. Dose. Dose with Power Man Five Thousand and. I feel like Cakes on there. I think Cakes on there. What else? Um. Oh, Goldfinger. Ooh. Superman. Superman. Man, Goldfinger's well, got some. Really, they got those two songs, but they pretty, got a couple. Pretty good songs. They're still pretty good. I was a. Uh, I was talking to um, my girlfriend about cake. Cake came up for whatever reason. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. I think it's because we were watching The Office, and I go, "The second best opening soundtrack," and Chuck is the best because it's got cake. And she thought cake. All of Cake's famous songs were covers, and I was like, "Why? Why do you think this?" She's like, "Yeah, they're all covers." And I'm like, "No." I what was ri- I was right for once. It was kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't happen very often, but no, it does not. Which one was it? Was it go- was that going the distance? Or no, was that, that the was surfers? no, that was um, short skirt, long jacket. Yeah. Which one was going the distance? Was that them? That's cake. Is that cake? Yeah, that was both cake. Speaking of weird names, butthole surfers. Yeah. Mustard plug. Mustard plug. Yeah, they're from Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. They're uh, ho- homegrown right there. Right there in that, that they're mitten. Got the wrong way. There we go. That they're mitten. You know what? I got a, I, I got a weird question. Uh, It's not that weird. How come we don't have any uh, 
video game companies in Grand Rapids. Because nobody wants to live here during the winter. Yeah, but we have tons of fucking breweries. Yeah. I'm surprised no one has tried to... Beer is better cold. Nerds are not better cold. Yeah, but there's lots of beer. I don't think all nerds love beer, beer as much as you. Are you telling me if someone was like, hey, we're going to move to this place. It gets cold, really cold, certain times of the year, but there's tons of alcohol. I mean, saying that you're someone else that actually, actually likes beer. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's tons of beer. You can drink, like, 50 different kinds of beer. Yeah, I just don't think there's enough Pokemon Go stops. No, that's true. That, that, that's what's holding us back. Pokemon that, Go stops? That's why we don't have any video game publishers, and that's why Amazon's not going to fucking come here. Yeah, fuck that, man. Uh, they were going to be right down the street. That's not going to happen, man. Yeah. Unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on how you feel about Amazon. Yeah. If you're, uh, <coughs> if you're from Chicago... Then fuck you, because you had William Shatner do your video for you. Because they had to do, like, videos mm-hmm. for, like, hey, this is what we're going to do for you. And they had Will Will Shatner come on and do the voiceover. I mean, that's... That's cool. I just don't give a shit about Will Shatner. No, I mean, but it's... what We didn't have anyone. We did, hey, look, look at this. We got beer. <laughs> we got... We we have an art festival that's only going to be once a couple of years now. And is it once a couple of years? Yeah, they changed it, which I think is great. It's good. Yeah, because it gets crazy. But, yeah. I mean, it's, it's we have the art festival, but we have art Sh- prize still. Chicago's going to get it. They got Pokemon Go Fest. Is that right there? there Settled. You go. It's all because of Pokemon Go. Goddamn Pokemon's Go's. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. That's kind of, kind of off the wall right there. So, uh... Number one, number one uh, song from a video game. It's either the the Metal Gear one, Snake Eater, or uh, What I Got by Sublime, because that's a play on the first level of Dave Mira's. Oh, okay. Just a good ass feeling. Okay. And then um, one quick thing I actually did want to go over with you. I don't know if you saw this at all. Did you see Nathan Fillion kind of fucking with everybody this week? No, I did not. So he he posted a. Post on Instagram. It was before you continue. Does this does this have anything to do with Firefly? Sadly, no. Okay, then I don't care. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue. Um, good. I'm gonna pull up the actual wording on it just because I don't want to fuck it up. Um, basically, he pulled it. Hey, Nelson here. Uh, you're probably wondering uh why things are fucked up. Um. OBS fucked up on us, so we're just kind of skipping through a little bit, and uh, we're going to come back in on Nate talking about how much uh, Nathan Fillion was a troll. We apologize for the inconvenience, and this was for everyone that uh, isn't watching, like the audio listeners. All right, thank you. Sorry. Um, and then a quote from Uncharted. So let me pull it up here. Are, do, are they doing a live action movie? We don't know. Um, but it's basically. Where's that post at? So, this is the first post. It's a picture of Drake, and then it says, Sick Parvis Magna, which is a quote from Uncharted, basically meaning greatness from small beginnings. So, Nathan Drake, picture of Drake, and then it gives the date of Monday. Nobody really knows what it is. Started from the bottom, now we're here. And then he posted this picture afterwards. On 16-18. Yep, um, same date, and it's basically a couple of maps and some magnifying glasses. So, it's either going to be... Hopeful, I hope it's them announcing that he's going to be the old version of Nathan Drake, because you know who's playing young version, right? Who? Tom Holland. No, I didn't... I have no idea. I have not even... I haven't even been, like, looking into this shit. Yep. Tom Holland's gonna be... He's, he's gonna be young Drake. Young Drake. Yeah. I'm alright with that. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with Tom Holland. If it was Tom Holland and then Nathan Fillion, like, as, like, the narrator as old Drake, I would fucking love it. Other thing that I've heard that might be what's going on is, like, it's a, a failed casting video of him trying out for the part, which would be cool. Because he looks like a slightly older version of Nathan Drake, really. The face looks exactly like him. Captain Canada? Yep, Captain Canada. So, yeah. So, what did you think? Which would you rather see? it? A failed YouTube video 
like a failed casting audition, like how they did with John uh, Kit Harrington for the Game of Thrones ones. That or one was a joke. I know. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be a joke. Yeah. Or some sort of announcement that he's going to be old Drake in uh, the Uncharted movie whenever that happens. I don't even know. I never, I never, I didn't dive into the Uncharted games. You should, man. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I mean, I should, I should really go back and try to play those. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I think it'd be interesting. It's like, it's just, just Tomb Raider, but. Yeah. With a dude. With a dude. Yeah. And a, yeah, a dude. It's just Tomb Raider with a dude. Then an older dude, bro, that helps you out. Older dude, bro. A, uh. Uh, what's the dude from? Fuck, what is the from dude from Evil Dead? Bruce Campbell. Yeah, he always reminds me of Bruce Campbell. He always reminds you, yeah. 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 And then there was just I just remembered this. There was a cool little thing that the developer came out with talking about Uncharted. Because you like you know you play through that game and you're like okay if this is supposed to be realistic, how is he taking so much bullet damage? And in that game, instead of like having a health bar, your screen flashes red. It came out that that's actually near misses, and that's his luck running out. So when his luck's all the way out, one shot kills him. Really? I thought that was just kind of a cool, like a nice way of playing, of explaining a video game mechanic that makes sense to the story to an extent. Hmm, okay. Yeah. That is interesting. But yeah, uh, I mean, I'll go watch it. Uh, did, I think, was it the new Tomb Raider is on Hulu? Or it's on something. It's on right? something. I, need, I do want to watch that. Just because... I heard it's garbage. I know. Do you know it's, it's actually Walton Goggins? It's not Walter Goggins? Yeah. I thought it was Walter this whole fucking time. You thought it was Walter? Yeah. It was Walton Goggins. Yeah, I thought it was Walter. Really? Yeah. Because I was watching Ant-Man, and that popped up at the end. I was like, oh, shit. Is he in that? Yeah, he's on the he's on the poster. Huh. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's all. Well, I mean... Come on, you gotta you can't just tell me that you've seen it and then not give me like 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 a non spoiler review. Like It's a good movie. Um I personally thought it was better than Ant Man One. Uh Shelby disagreed with me on it because uh, she cared like she enjoyed the whole plot with Ant Anthony more. Um but I enjoyed it. There was I'm trying to think of ways to talk about it without spoiling it. There's a couple things that don't make sense um, based on the end credit scene, yeah. um, which I'm not going to get into. The funniest, the funniest fucking part of the movie was actually from the audience. So there's a line where um, th- the FBI agent that he that's been like checking his his uh, tether stops by and he's talking about something. He's like, "Yeah, I can't get anything past me. I used to be a youth pastor." And the guy next to me just goes, "Turn up!" <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> just started laughing. Just, just turn up. Yeah, just turn up. I was, like, I was like, man, this guy loves youth pastor shit. Shit. Turn up. Turn up. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. I also learned, do not go get Golden Corral before going to the movies. Yeah. Uh, you fuck have your issues? shit up. <laughs> you have issues? That's why you got to get uh, adult diapers. Depends. Depends. Depends on what's going on. do do All right, so, but... Uh, Watch it. Don't watch it. Let's watch it. Watch Definitely it. watch okay. it. Um, yeah, it's a good movie. You you like Paul Rudd? You gonna like this? I do like him. Yeah, who doesn't like Paul Rudd? People that don't like to have fun. Yeah, people that hate people. Nice. Okay, so this is uh the time that we like to pull back the curtain of the nerd culture and mm-hmm. just kind of invite everybody in, have them kick up their uh. Their feet next to the fire, pour a nice little drink, maybe put on some uh, Barry White, and talk about Nerd Curious terms. Nerd Curious. Yes, where we sit down and we just explain things that, you know, just uh, people want to know about, that you're interested about. Yeah. Like, you you don't want to... You don't want to ask, because you, you, you don't want to feel... One, awkward or stupid. It's like in Parks and Rec where Andy Dwyer goes, I don't know who Al Gore is, and at this point I'm too afraid to ask. Yes. So, uh, I mean, come on over, ask us some questions, and we'll answer them. Today, 
is the term antihero. What is antihero? Antihero is a hero. Yeah, I think so. Uh, is a hero that does bad things to bad people. Mm -hmm. So that I mean they when it comes down to it, they're nice. And they're they'll they'll help out nice people, and you know they'll be they'll be a good person. But if you're a bad person, then they're gonna fuck your shit up. Mm -hmm. Yep, they uh like like Deadpool, Deadpool, Punisher, the Crow. The Crow is a very big one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Dominic Toretto. Is he really? Yeah, I mean he steals from people. Yeah, but he steals for his own benefit. Yeah, I know that's what's making him an anti-hero, but he also, you know, helped the Rock out. Rocky, Rocky, Rocky ain't never been no bad guy. Yes, he was. You bring up Scorpion King, I'm smacking <laughs> in the face. <laughs> this is a big one. Right he there. didn't say one fucking thing in that whole thing. That wasn't even him. That was him. No, that was that CGI was the, that Rock. That was the bad CGI, but that was him. <laughs> no! And then there's fire everywhere. God, that was like the worst scene. Like, imagine that being your first foray into films, just... That was a very bad CGI moment. It was just like the partial scorpion down here. And yeah, did not look good. But when they came back and they did Scorpion King the movie, that was good. It was good. People don't like it, but I thought it was pretty good. It was kind of yeah. one of those. Just eat popcorn and watch something stupid. Yeah, like the original Punisher movie. Yeah, I love that one. I too. do too. I fucking love that one. But yeah, the just uh. Anti-hero oh. is usually a hero that uh just does bad things to bad people. Yeah, uh, Jessica Jessica Jones kind of counts if you go off the Netflix series. Yeah. Um. Uh, Red Hood, to an extent, is kind of an anti-hero. <laughs> Red Hood. A lot of times they don't uh do like the whole rules thing. Yeah. Where they they'll kill bad guys. Basically, just watch Deadpool one. That is a synopsis on how to be an anti-hero. With a little nugget about being a hero at the end. Yes. And then thrown away. You just toss it. Thrown away. So that was uh that was today's uh nerd curious term. Nerd curious. If you want to have us go over a nerd curious term, go on over to our many social networks, whatever. Mm hmm And just hashtag us nerd curious and then ask us a question or have us go over something that you want us to explain. Yeah. We talk about it. You listen. We're talking about it. Yeah. Uh, besides that, um, have you seen anything recently? Any uh, any movies? Any? Well, besides Ant Man, yeah. I'm trying to think if I've seen any other movies. I watched Scott Pilgrim vs. the World the other night just because I had nothing to do. Even though you've seen that like 30 different times, still holds up, man. The guy who did you know the dude that was originally in the Punisher movie is is in that movie. Is he? Yeah, he's just in there for like a brief second. Same with Jim Jeffries. Is he really in that? Was Jim that Jeffries? Jim yeah. Jim Jeffries? It was Jim Jeffries laying on the bed as if he just hooked up with that other dude. Hey, 20 bucks is 20 bucks, man. Yeah, I know. Um, I started watching the show. Well, I, I did. I finished um a little bit of My Hero Academia. Okay. And I'm really enjoying that. Um, I'd recommend that. Tyler recommended that to me. And I finally sat down and said, you know what? Let's get through this. So I started watching it, and it's uh, I enjoy it, especially if you're uh, one of those people that like anime. Uh, I also started watching Ghosted. Ghosted. Which is a show about supernatural. It's it's pretty much um, the show Deadbeat. No, because yeah. Deadbeat Deadbeat watches they. It's a mainly about ghosts. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's it's the thing though. It's it's called Ghosted. Is it like comedic supernatural? Yeah, for the most part, or okay. like X Files, but instead you have Adam Scott and Craig Robinson, who are two very funny people, mm -hmm. and they go around and they do, they clean up all the the weird like supernatural shit, and they do it in a funny way. There's one I I don't know why I laugh so hard, but they they're going through this facility trying to find something and the guy's got his phone out and he's recording and he's trying to figure out and all of a sudden dude kind of pops out of nowhere and says you in the wrong place and then Craig is like oh yeah you right and then just start leaving <laughs> <laughs> just like you just start walking away oh yeah you right and then they they tried to run gone. away and these guys were chasing him 
And I was like, I don't know why that was so funny, but it was. Yeah. Uh, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on watching that. Yeah. Oh, we did start watching um the wrong man's on Hulu. The wrong man's. Yeah, I think the wrong. I've heard of that? Isn't that? It's uh got James Gordon in it. Yeah. And for whatever reason, we were just looking through shit, and I was like, I enjoy James Gordon to an extent, and we started watching it. Like it's very dry British humor, but I'm enjoying the shit out of it. Yeah. And then Shelby told me I look like James Gordon, and I did not know how to feel. James Gordon. Yeah. James Corden. Corden, sorry. Okay, I'm like, I don't know who you keep talking about. James Corden. Corden. Yes, Corden. Okay, from with the Late Late Show. Yeah. Okay. You look like James Corden? That's what she said, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, you call me fat? Ooh. She goes, no, it's your your, your face. He's, look at his face. He's, it's his face. I'm like, he's got fat face. <laughs> <laughs> it's fat face right there. What are you talking about? But I'm enjoying it. Yeah. We were only like one episode in, but it, it's... That's enough to keep me going on it. Okay. <coughs> so I was thinking, uh, because of the show Ghosted, what do you think if we start doing, like super, like going after supernatural stuff? Yeah. What would we What would we call our our agency? Sci Fi Monkeys. Ghost Holes. Ghost Holes. Yeah. Isn't that from something? I don't know. Ghost Blowers. I'm trying to think of something punny. Punny. Yeah. I was trying. To, I was like, man, what? If, what if we started doing like supernatural stuff? Poltergeist. Poltergeist. <laughs> That's terrible, but I love it. Ah. Poltergeist. Got puns. Puns for days. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're gonna start wrapping things up. We're gonna go through the. Okay. We're gonna start going through the housekeeping. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. If you haven't noticed, um, we got this right there. Skill monkeys. We got rid of the little at thing. Uh, little thing is that we kind of had some issues earlier, so we're going to do a double post. Yeah. We're going to drop two at once. So, uh, yeah, because we had some scheduling shit. It's Christmas in July. Just take it. Yes. Two at once. Menage, God, it's just going off, man. I can't help it. <laughs> can't stop. Won't stop. Can't stop. stop. Won't stop. Um, go through some of the, the housekeeping. We like to do a little shout out to your boy. That boy. That boy. I fucking love OBS. That <laughs> boy. That boy Nick. That boy Nick. Thank you for your patronage, man. This is for you. Boom. We can put that away. Throw that away. Oh shit! Get what up? Here. Oh shit! What up? I can't, and the thing's still going off. Okay. You might be. There's there's a group going on. Um, Go on over to our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. Vine, uh, MySpace, my Zanga. Check, <sighs> check out my SoundCloud dog. Well, we've got SoundCloud. SoundCloud rappers out here looking like Chipotle bags. Chipotle bags. Have you seen that one? No, I have not. What are you talking about? <laughs> the Chipotle bags look, have a bunch of like weird drawing and shit. Oh on my them. god. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. Little, what was it? That guy is six nine. He had, literally has a six nine tattooed right here. Yeah. Giant. What the fuck, man? What if you weren't good at rapping? You just did all that shit, and now you got to go get a normal job. How are you going to get a normal job with a giant fucking six nine on your forehead? I mean, sex worker. I mean, let them know what's up. And then blow guys under the docks. Why like, the what's docks? Up? Who goes to the docks <laughs> to get a blowy? <laughs> I mean, anyone who needs a blowy. You know, I like to have a blowy and just feel the nice ocean breeze on my face. I mean, it's better than smelling like, like fucking manhole covers from downtown while you're banging someone in the bushes. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who you're talking about. Yes, a couple crackheads down there. I don't know if that person is on crack, but yeah, what's up? We'll see. <coughs> I don't know. But yeah, this has been uh, Skill Monkeys. Yep. We're going to be adding cool shit like that boy from here on out. Hold on, we're ready? Ready? That boy! Gotta move over. Oh, man. Gotta move over. There we go. <laughs> that boy. And put him away. Man, that was pretty fucking good, man. <laughs> we're doing it. We're going to start putting more shit here. Mm-hmm. We'll figure it out. But, uh,. We put doing that thing. We're like, hey, go ahead and check out this video up here. Bing. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just go cool. here, hit the bell. 
Just, just say, be a part of our notification squad. What's up? Be part of the Skill Monkeys army. Oh, come on down. Get the Skill Monkeys tattoo, and then I, I got nothing. I don't know, but I, I don't that know. Place. But um, you can also go to Patreon, get all our shit when we drop it. Mm-hmm. Um, if you if you're listening to us on uh Spotify, thank you for listening. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out why we're not on Google Play, but. We have a Google Play one, and we should be on iTunes, so. Yeah, let us know if we're on iTunes. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I mean, it's it's a process. Humble beginnings, my friend. Greatness from small beginnings, Nathan yes. Drake. Bye-bye. Bye.